What can we expect as the court and the court number one in Supreme Court sits in at 10.30 to finally hear this case? Right, so, Nal, so <clears throat> to begin with, uh, the two judge bench comprising of the CGI and uh, Justice S.K. Call are likely to... Uh, and this case to a three judge bench, which will then hear nearly 14 appeals in this case, uh, challenging the 2010 uh, order of the Allahabad High Court, which said that the 2.77 acre land should be equally distributed uh, amongst uh, the Nirmohi Akhada, the Ram Lalla people, and uh, the Sunni Waqf Board. Now, just to give a brief history of this, in 1949, a Fezabad court had given a similar verdict as that of what Allahabad High Court gave in 2010. So, 70 years later, the Supreme Court is going to hear this case start Starting from whenever the three judge, uh, the today's bench will tell the hearings will start. Today's judge bench will tell us when the hearings will start, the manner of the nature of hearings that are going to happen, and uh, just to also give you why this is, give you the importance of uh, this particular case. Now, uh, just uh, on the first of uh, January, the prime minister said that. Uh, only after the judicial uh, process will the government take any steps to build a Ram temple or resolve the Ayodhya dispute. Now, this comes amidst mounting pressure on the BJP from its allies and other right-wing groups with Shiv Sena and the Vishwa Hindu Parishad holding grand sabhas in Ayodhya and questioning the government as to when they would build the Ram temple and asking them till when would they ask for votes in the name of Ram. Just yesterday, uh, uh, Mahant Dharam Singh also wrote to Prime Minister Modi saying that they should impeach the Chief Justice of India for delaying a verdict in the Ayodhya dispute. And uh, an RSS functionary, uh, functionary said that they would, be, uh, they would hold a sit-in protest because of this delay. Now, right-wing groups mounting more and more pressure on the BJP seeking an ordinance and the BJP on the other hand asking for in fact uh, waiting for a judicial for the judicial process to get over for a final decision on this now what's important to see right now is after today's uh, word after today's order on when the judge when the hearings uh, will start we need to wait and watch what kind of reactions, reactions this will spark from the right-wing groups and what kind of pressure this would mount on the BJP. All right. Uh, thank you, Shruti, for that legal perspective. Let's uh, try and understand more politically what does it mean, uh, you know, with Alok there. Alok, the timing perhaps when this judgment comes out is going to be very significant. Will the court sit down today and say that it will be a day-to-day -day hearing and thus wrap up before 2019 elections, which is less than 92 days now? That is perhaps going to be certain key because UP is the kingmaker when it comes to setting up a new government come 2019 well you're absolutely right i think uh, it will this uh, verdict is or this uh, order on when the case is going to be heard is going to be a very crucial one for the BJP and its allies, uh, even so, because uh, they are the ones who in the past have been seen to be pushing for an early hearing to this case because they feel or their think tank feels that the more they push the Ayodhya issue, the more it will bring them electoral benefits. And that is why you've had a situation where there seems to be some kind of a two-paced strategy. On one hand, of course, you have the Prime Minister who is also in a position of authority beyond being a BJP leader. So he's saying that, look, an ordinance can only be thought of after the court gives its wording. But on the other hand, you have a host of a galaxy of BJP leaders, some ministers, some in Uttar Pradesh, some at the central level, all of them pitching for an early hearing in the case because they believe that the more they are seen to be pushing for an early hearing in the case and if it does happen that the court orders day-to-day -day hearings, if it does happen that there is an early some kind of resolution to it, even I, I mean, whatever the outcome is, it will help the BJP electorally f in the lead-up to Lok Sabha 2019 is what the thought process is within the BJP. For the opposition, no such hurry. They feel that the court should take its own time and there should be no hurry in actually deciding the case. But politically, it is a very, very significant uh, e uh, step. Whatever is happening in court is very, very significant. And like you said, it will be interesting to see how the reactions come in once the court decides when the hearing is going to start. Like you said, will it be a day-to-day -day hearing? Will it be a staggered hearing? Uh, will anything happen before the Lok Sabha 2019 elections? The BJP would certainly hope so, but I think it's up to the court to decide.